About eight months ago, DTE Energy uh, was talking about putting a fueling station here in the Grand Traverse region for a conversion of their vehicles to using natural gas as a fuel source. Um, through those discussions with DTE, we said, boy, we should really look at uh, if there are other potential users in the area. Doug DeYoung, along with other staff members of the Traverse City Area Chamber of Commerce, met with members of DTE Energy and determined it would be worthwhile to have a study that looked at the conversion to natural gas for Traverse City Area public school buses and the Bay Area Transportation Authority. Beta has over 78 buses. TCAPS has over 100 buses, and they're both replacing those buses at certain rates throughout the coming years. So really to look at um, what would be the uh, expenses on conversion, what would be this if there are savings, um, what would be the outcome of that report. The chamber put together a committee that uh, set some criteria um, for looking at what they what conversion would mean for this region. That committee then uh, sent out an RFP and that RFP was sent out uh, across uh, the you know through the through the chamber connections around the region. Uh, the committee ended up selecting a firm out of Chicago uh, to really look at and that had done similar work in other areas that had uh, to look at uh, both beta and TCAPs in terms of identifying uh, what uh, those opportunities might be for them in conversion to compressed natural gas. It took five months to complete the study, which looked at the expenses and the current uses of fuel for TCAPs and beta. They looked at uh, conversion rates of how many buses they buy each year, when they buy those buses, they looked at converting existing buses versus purchasing new buses. Um, we went through the financials of all of, of both agencies in terms of their costs for fuel and, their, and how much fuel they use. And the outcome really is, is that there is an opportunity for both agencies to have savings over the next uh, 10 years uh, if they start purchasing new vehicles. Uh, savings in doing this in terms of uh, the environmental impact is uh, much less on the environment by using compressed natural gas versus uh, diesel in the emissions coming from the vehicles. It's these factors that could ultimately play a big role in cost savings during the next several years. So the, really the next step is for DTE, Beta and TCAPS to sit down identify what they would do over the next three to five years and identify how large a fueling station and where a fueling station might go to uh, be able to utilize it for the for the transit agencies and the and the school system and then really um, spell out what that would look like in a contract and, and really say okay we're willing to build a station this big to, to service this many vehicles to get that process started.